So this is going to be the first video in a series building a basic low-cost FPV copter. I've got uh, a newer Alien X quadcopter that I got from Amazon. It is, I think basically it's a low-end copy of the TBS Discovery. So, but in the box we've got look like some some knockoff uh, arms, just like the DJI arms. We'll see. Uh, I've read a lot of reviews that their knock their arms are more flexy than the DJI arms. They seem okay to me at first glance. So I'll mount them and fly with them and we'll see what happens. If I don't like them, then I'll switch them out for some DJI arms that are fairly cheap. But, uh, so we've got the arms. We have a bottom plate. And a top plate. And what's nice about the, the bottom plate extends out in the front to allow a camera platform that's sized nicely for a GoPro and what's very nice is there's an extra plate that comes along with it that uh, you can mount with some rubber bumpers to allow a little vibration dampening built right in. Also in the box is a bag full of parts. Looks like there's a battery strap those look like bolts to hold the motors on. These look like the little uh, bolts that hold the body and the legs together. There are rubber bumpers to hold the camera mount. Some aluminum spacers. And looks like some other nylon parts that must be to hold uh, components onto the board. I'm not sure what they're for. That's one of the big questions with this, uh, this newer Alien X quadcopter set is that uh, it doesn't come with instructions and there don't seem to be any instructions online. So if you buy this, you're going to have to look online and pay attention to the, uh, the photographs that are posted online fairly well and just kind of piece it together. Hopefully my video will help. Okay, so we are going to start putting it together. Uh, we're going to start with the basics and put the legs onto the base. I'm going to follow uh, DJI convention and put the red legs up front. When everything's not aligned, I tend to go one or two screws at a time and not tighten them all the way just so they're loose and can move. and get things into relative alignment before I lock them down. I'm doing a quick job putting this frame together. If you're really putting it together for good, then you may want to put a little Loctite on each one of these screws before you install it. Um, I imagine I'll be taking this copter apart a few times so before it gets ready for flight. But uh, it's something you may want to think about. So there are all the legs attached to the top. 
We'll flip it over. And lay out the frame for the bottom. The next thing we'll do is we will take the aluminum spacers and we'll put them on the back of the frame like this. So this is where I ran into the first problem of the build. The spacers that are provided to go on the uh, back area of the frame, so three of the spacers that were provided are the same height and one looks like it was cut too short and is jammed up with something so this obviously is a manufacturer defect um, I'm not going to worry too much about it it's a cheap 10 cent part and I have a bunch of them hanging around so I'm just going to replace all of these with four similar ones. They're slightly thicker than the ones that came in the kit, but they're about the same. And I'm gonna use those instead, but just wanted to point out that uh, there seems to be a quality control issue with this frame. And you may wanna be concerned with that if you're gonna buy this frame. So now that the back cage is all together, it seems to have really stiffened up the frame quite a bit. So a nice thing about this frame and the TBS Discovery and a lot of these FPV specific frames is that these front legs are stretched out wider than your general X like on a DJI Flame Wheel 450. So it provides a nice place right up front to put a camera and depending on your prop size you won't be getting your props in your shot this kit comes with a camera mount and four rubber bumpers so we're going to give this a try and see how easy it is to install this i think uh, the best way to do it is just squeeze these little rubber balls into it's easier said than done squeeze them into the frame here and once it's in it expands to fill the space So it seems now that they're on the plate, it'll be just slightly harder to, maybe I'll turn the frame over to try and do this, but uh, squeeze the rubber balls again and slide them into the keyholes. Eh, that first one wasn't so hard. There. A little bit of wrestling, but uh, once it's on there, makes a good little cushioned camera platform. So there you have it. There's the build of the frame of the 
Alien X FPV copter. Um, in my next video, we'll go over some of the electronics that I'm going to be putting on it, the motors, the ESCs. Again, keeping in mind, we're going to try and do this whole thing for as little expense as possible, but still make a reliable copter that flies well. All right, until next time, thanks.